Hello, this is Eric Miskell with EMS Now here at uh, Apex 2020 in San Diego. As you can tell by the logo on the shirt next to me, I have Saki with me here, and we're welcoming Jeff Morganson to the company. You just joined here at the end of last year with kind of a, a charter to help grow the business in the United States, right? So right. why don't you tell us about that? Yeah, thank you. So I've been in the industry for 39 years. A lot of people around here know me from several different product lines and I've enjoyed growing up here, as a lot of us have. Um, but yeah, Saki has had a very good, uh, you know, popular business in Europe and Asia, and we do really well down in Mexico. And what we're doing here stateside now is we're going to build up the infrastructure here so that we can, you know, build a bigger commitment for our customers here in the United States. So we'll have a couple of offices, one in Fremont, California, and one in the Chicagoland area. And then we'll provide a full range of services from pre-sale support for demos and evaluations, and then post-sale support for telephone support and spare parts and some of those types of things. So yeah, I'm looking forward to building up the infrastructure here and carrying on that uh, success they've had in other areas of the world. So you must be from the Chicago area because re you refer to it as Chicago land, right? That's very, very familiar. Well, I am a Cub fan and I did grow up in Chicago land. So going back home is a pretty easy thing to do. Uh, so yes, I grew up in Chicago. Now, but will Mexico also be part of your purview? It will. Yeah. So I'll be responsible for all of the Americas. Um, but our primary focus this year will be building up the foundation in the U.S. because we simply don't have it. So we're in the process of hiring applications engineers, getting the demo room set up. So we'll get all those foundational pieces in place, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. Mm -hmm. well, let's talk about some product specific. And I thought we'd start with the uh, with the combo that you have. The uh, uh, That's a big product for, for Saki. Why don't you tell us about it? Yeah, so if you look at uh, technology and SPI machines and AOI machines, it's fairly similar in there. One, you're, of course, inspecting solder paste. The other, you're inspecting components, but you're using some of the same technologies. So you do have the ability to use one machine for both processes. So that's what we've done with the 3D AOI machine. So now when a customer buys an AOI machine, they're actually getting both an SPI machine and an AOI machine. So if you wanted to pull double duty or you wanted to have a machine in an NPI center, you could easily print some boards, inspect the port boards on the SPI side, run through your component place machine or roof oven, bring them back to the exact same machine and then rerun them. So essentially, you know, you can double duty with one machine in an NPI environment and save yourself uh, the investment of having to buy two machines instead of one. And it also gives you a little bit more flexibility on your manufacturing line because you can move machines around. So if you want to start at the SPI and you're putting a second line in, you want to move a machine and use that same machine for something else, you could put it before or after a reflow oven and do some AOI inspection. So it really gives the customer a lot more bang for the buck and a lot more flexibility. And you mentioned the NPI, but it's beyond that. It's for the low, low mix, high volume. It's for the low volume, high mix. It's it's. That's our business here. 20 years ago, we had a lot of high volume manufacturing. Today, it's it's a lot of different boards. You know, it's not unusual for a customer to change a line over three or four or five times in a day. They might be running boards uh, 10 lot size. They might be running 300, but that's really the makeup of the Americas. Most of our customers are one to three lines, high changeover, low volume, you know, high mix. Uh, so that definitely plays into that, that world. Mm -hmm. Excellent. The other one I wanted to ask about is the AXI. Yep. And she tells, because that's specifically the x-ray piece, right? Yeah, so there's a lot of customers now, of course, that are migrating from 2D AOI to 3D AOI. And there's a lot of customers, there's, there's some early adopters of x-ray over the last few years. Um, there's a lot of new x-ray equipment cap coming out. There's a lot of new capabilities. So with the new capability, you're starting to see higher and higher resolution, like the new machine that we have on the floor right now can do its slices at 10 microns. So you can look at everything below the board, above the board, and you can easily differentiate the top side from the bottom side. And they're 3D AOI or X-ray machines now. So we can actually, you can actually visualize on the X-ray machine exactly what you see on a 3D AOI machine. Pick up a part, flip it around, look at top, look at bottom. So really, really functional. A lot of good information for a customer to make decisions. And I think that over the course of the next 10 years, we might be surprised to see that with the speed of the AXI is increasing now, they may actually start to displace some of the 3D AOI machines because the 3D AOI machines are limited to inspecting only things that they can see. So for those customers that are doing a lot of flip chip kind of stuff, BGA, QFNs, mm -hmm. the only way to see those solder joints is with an X-ray machine. 
Uh, the limiting factors today are speed of the x-ray machine, size of the x-ray machine, and price. So those will all be changing over the next few years. So I think you'll see x-ray become more mainstream as time goes on. But you also, the, the AXI also uh, decreased the exposure of the x-ray as well, right? right. By, well, by changing and calibrating that differently? Well, what we're doing differently from the exposure standpoint is we only turn on the tube when we're inspecting. So there's a lot of machines out there that keep the tube on all the time. We just turn on the tube when we're actually doing the inspection, and that cuts your radiation down by about 70%. So that's pretty huge. Um, so the combination of that, a smaller footprint and higher speed, uh, we can also inspect on the fly with the x-ray machine. So we don't, we can stop and start like more of the traditional process, but we can also process on the fly. So we're actually just continually scanning the board, picking up the images and providing the results. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I have a feeling we'll be talking again as these shows <laughs> roll out here in the States over the, the next year. We'll be at several of those, but um, welcome to this next chapter of your life in the industry. Thank I you. think you're, you're with a great company, and we look forward to hearing more in the future. Awesome. Thank you very much, Eric. Appreciate it. It's been it. a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.